Funds that are higher risk are often labelled as being adventurous, offer investors potentially higher rewards, but also possibly a much more bumpy ride than low risk or cautiously invested funds. So adventurous funds, they aim to add spice to the portfolio, but as is the case when adding flavours to cooking, you need to strike the right balance. The same applies to investing. When picking funds, you need to weigh up risk versus reward and ensure that you don't have too much of your portfolio in those adventurous areas that could all fall sharply at the same time when stock markets decline. Now, for investors wanting to add spice in their ISA, options include single country emerging market funds, such as those investing in China, India, Vietnam, and sector specialist funds that invest in the likes of technology, healthcare, biotech, and commodities. For specialist funds, there's both active and passive options. Active funds have a professional investor picking a selection of companies that they think will outperform a compatible index. Whereas passive funds, which are either index funds or exchange traded funds, ETFs, invest in the entire market or sector. As well as sectors, some passive funds also invest in themes such as artificial intelligence and cloud computing. Other adventurous funds invest in private companies, which could become tomorrow's winners. One example is Scottish Mortgage, an investment trust that holds around 30% of its money in private companies. Its approach is to invest in the best-in-class growth companies. In addition, emerging market and Asia-Pacific are also higher-risk regions than developed market funds. Smaller company funds are also higher risk than funds investing in larger companies, but historically, the returns of smaller companies have been higher. Check out our Super 60 list of ideas as part of your wider research.